Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya Luisa and today I'm going to be talking to you all about why I will never shut up about feminine energy. I will never, ever, ever, ever stop talking about the energetics between the masculine and the feminine. I will never stop talking about feminine energy because I am incarnated now in this lifetime to be talking to you about this. This is literally part of the reason why I'm here. So I'm never going to stop talking about it. And in fact, people have been commenting and saying things on the internet and out in these internet streets, really tired of the feminine energy content and really tired of this conversation. And so I think that the reason why they're saying this is because they don't know the deeper energetics of this work and the brevity of what it means to know and be embodied in your feminine energy. It's so essential and so important. So again, my name is Maya Luisa and I've been teaching feminine energy for about a decade now. I've been teaching it through movement. I'm a dancer. I used to have my own dance studio. Now I have a dance course online and I teach the energetics of femininity through the body and I teach it through embodiment, through my own embodiment. So you're not only getting the wisdom, but you're also getting the experience of your own feminine energy, which is essential because feminine energy is in the body, it's in the being. So why I will never stop talking about this is because it is deeper than just, oh, I want to look good. Oh, I want to attract somebody. Oh, I want to be a high value woman or looking pretty or acting girly. It's beyond this surface stuff. It's beyond just even being more attractive to the your whoever you want. It's beyond all of that. Although that is a subset of your feminine energy, you will be more attractive. You will be more magnetic. You will be more relaxed. You will be more beautiful. But beyond that, the essential part that I really, really want you to know about how important this energy is, is because women who don't understand this energy, who are not learning and embodied in their feminine energy, are going to the grave before it's their time. They are going to the grave in an early age. I have buried a client of mine. I have buried my best friend's mom, all because they were in the energy of overgiving. I want you right now to think about a woman in your life. God forbid, right? But think about a woman in your life who has health issues. God forbid you know someone, but if you do, think about this woman in your life that has health issues. And now I want you to think about their energy. Are they a person that overgives? Are they a person that is in their overgiving energy. Because most of the time, people who have some type of sickness, who have some type of, if it's not genetic, if it's just something that they've acquired through their lifetime, more often than not, it's because they don't know how to receive. Because they're in their overgiving energy. So when I'm teaching feminine energy and I'm teaching the energetics of receivership, of being able to receive. It's not just being able to receive love. It's not just being able to receive a compliment. It's being able to receive support because you're supposed to, because you're a human being. And so people who don't know how to receive oftentimes will end up with, God forbid, but this is what happens, will end up with health issues, serious health issues. Living and existing outside of your body, not listening to your body, just being a robot, just being in the mental plane and pushing your body consistently over and over and over and over again, consistent burnout, consistent, all those things, that pulls on your organs as a feminine essence being. It pulls from somewhere. And when you keep on ignoring your body, living outside of your body, you then will eventually acquire health issues. So feminine energy is 
deeper, deeper than makeup. It's deeper than sounding feminine. It's deeper than all of this stuff. It's literally a matter of life and death. That's why I will never stop talking about this. I will never stop teaching it. Because this is an energetics that is often not taught to us. It's often not modeled to us, especially as a woman living in the diaspora. If you're a diasporic woman, more often than not, these energetics have not been passed down to you. So we have to learn it. We have to teach it. We have to embody it, teach it to our daughters, teach it to our goddaughters, teach it to our nieces. These are the things that we have to embody in this lifetime so that we can teach it and pass it on. Embody. Notice I said embody because the only way to teach it is to live it and teach it from a place of embodiment. I can't be telling you, oh, go rest and be receiving and all these things if I'm not living it, if I'm not the living embodiment of it. Otherwise, I would show up here looking very tired and dry and I'd be like, come on, y'all, be in your feminine energy. And you'd be like, girl, <laughs> you're not living what you're preaching. So it's embodiment. It's embodying it to be able to teach it. It's embodying it for ourselves. So many times I will have uh, conversations with clients, conversations with different people, and I'll tell them, you know, some of the energetics, some things that they need to do, some things that they can take on. And they immediately they go to, oh, I should tell this, this, this person. I need to tell that person. I need to rally the people. I need to get a group. And I'm like, well, why don't you just absorb it for yourself first? What if this message is just for you to hold right now. That's an element of receiving that many people have to learn. Many women have to learn because we we learn something, we, we hear something really, really good and we just wanna share it, share it, share it with the world. What if that thing was for you to hold first, for you to embody first, for it to be absorbed into your frequency first? That's the energetics of this, is being able to receive, being able to feel your value, experience yourself as a high value woman. Because when you experience your value, when you know your true, true value, you show up differently and you receive from higher frequencies. You receive better. You receive only the best. Because when you're treating yourself in such a good way, if someone tries to treat you badly, you're going to notice it because you're treating yourself well. But if you're constantly treating yourself badly, when someone else does it, you won't notice it because it's the same, it's the same vibe. These are all the things that is so essential to women. These are the energetics that are sending women into an early grave is deeper than makeup. It's deeper than all of these things. Because women who are constantly working, who are constantly in there, it's like a, the frequency of a servant. And a lot of times we'll step into that frequency when we become moms, when we become wives. You step into like a servitude vibe and you forget yourself and you forget your radiance, you forget your glow, you forget to do the things that make you feel whole, that make you feel solid, that make you feel grounded, that make you feel like a queen that you are. When you forget to do those things, your frequency lowers, your vibrancy lowers, your radiance is like your light dims, and then your partner stops paying attention to you, maybe starts being addicted to video games or porn, or God forbid, starts paying attention to another woman. Your children, you won't have as much patience for them. They might not respect you as much because you're not respecting yourself. So when we learn these energetics, we then become, we step into our queendom. Building your queendom, that's one of the modules in my course, how to build your queendom is so essential you build your queendom and everyone else has to align to that because you are stepping out there in the world as the queen that you are 
it shifts the energy of your relationship. It shifts the energy of the way that you show up as a mom. These are the energetics. This is why feminine energy is so essential to your experience of life, but also to your longevity, to your health, to your health. So I know many of my clients have, <clears throat> have gone through a rapid transformation in their lives once they apply the energetics. Because the, once you shift from within and you start to look at the different ways that you've shown up and to look at the different ways that you learned how to be a woman and what works and what doesn't work. And it's kind of like you're taking everything and you kind of like shift, shifting, sifting, sifting is the word. And you look for the golden nuggets. You look for the golden nuggets and you let everything else go. And with those golden nuggets, you build your queendom. Because I'm sure not everything that you learned from your mom or your whoever um, woman in your life taught you about womanhood and femininity, not all of it is bad. But there's some things that we can look at and be like, hmm, I learned what not to do. I learned how I don't want to end up. I learned how I don't want to react. How can I shift this? How can I change this for myself? And then you begin to embody it. It takes time. But this is a matter of your health. This is a matter of your well-being. This is a matter of living in your purpose, finding your purpose. It's so much deeper than what people think. Once you're tapping into your femininity, and that's another um, one of my modules about desire. So once you're tapping into your femininity, a huge component of that is your desire, your true desires, the true desires of your heart. Because working every single day in a job that you don't, that isn't soul led, that doesn't light you up, that doesn't fill you up, that doesn't fuel you, is sucking the life out of you. Slowly. Slowly. And we all have to survive. And I know that it's not just about, oh, like, I'm just going to quit my job. But it's about finding what's my passion, what lights me up. Even if you have to at first work a nine to five, but still fuel that passion after work or before, what is it that you truly love? And doing that, filling yourself up. This is life changing work that is deeper than anything on the surface. It does change the surface, but within you, it changes the energetics. It changes your life. So I am never going to stop talking about this because it is deep. It is deep. It is pure. It is raw. It is wild. It is truth. It is authenticity. And it's your God-given right to be in your femininity, to be in your true, authentic self. We have been taught to act like men in order to get rewarded, in order to get more money, in order to get more respect, in order to get all of these things. But when we act like men, we're actually knocked off of our power completely. So learning these energetics, you learn to step into your full power, which is integrated, an integrated self of the masculine and the feminine. It is both. It's not just only the masculine and then dimming the feminine. No, it's honoring the feminine from within, learning her, learning when to step forward into her and also when to hold back and then let your masculine energy emerge. These are the energetics that is completely life-changing. It's completely life-changing to women. And so I am committed. This is my mission. I'm never going to stop talking about this because it changed lives. My mom is a breast cancer survivor. I've seen my mom heal herself through energetics, 
through taking her power back, through refocusing on herself, refocusing all that overgiving energy and putting it back into her, taking care of her body. I watched that as a young child. And so I know this work very intimately, how powerful it is, and I'm never gonna stop. So if you can, can um, feel activated by my content, if you can feel healed by my content, and something like lights up inside of you, it's like, aha, I see, or I learned something from Maya, then it makes it all worth it, because that's what I'm here to do. I'm here to wake up your, your feminine energy, to allow her to emerge, to guide her out from within, because she's in there, but it can be dormant. And so I'm here to awaken that. That's what I'm here to do. And so if you feel healed by this, if you feel activated by my work, that's what I want. That's all I want. That is my mission. That's what I'm very, very passionate about. That's why I'm here and I'm never gonna stop. So if you enjoy this, welcome to my world. Okay, this is just the beginning. Welcome to my world. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are safe. You are here. You are home. I'm here to guide you and let's walk together. So thank you for enjoying my video. <laughs> You can check out my website and see all of my, cor my course on feminine energy. I have private coaching. I have intuitive sessions, all the juicy stuff. So we'll set you up perfect for 2024 and beyond. So um, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace and love.